the most important thing is the connection and the way it makes you feel. I want it to be personal. It's almost like your body is the canvas as opposed to the clothes wearing you. I actually want it to get into your bloodstream somehow. SAO started through quite a natural process. It's an acronym for the space around us. Space, in terms of what surrounds us, kind of determines the decisions that we make in our lives. I think I develop new ways of seeing every time I move through different spaces. And as I move throughout my day, I'm kind of processing all of those things. And by the time I come back to the studio, I'm able to kind of form out those ideas. Halston was like the defining times of like me actually developing my eye and kind of discovering different ways of seeing. This is a, another very important takeaway store that I go to usually for my chicken patties, but it's also connected to um, a record store, which is also a record label that used to kind of like promote a lot of the reggae artists. Like this, stylistically for me, I'm looking at the, the shape of the glasses, you know, the lapels on the, on the track suits. These kind of like are the images that kind of like sit in the pockets of my mind. I think that's what kind of grew, growing up in Halsden did for me. It's just down the road from Labra Grove, Notting Hill. So it was like right on the cusp of like the area of where the carnival started. It's really important to the story of Black Britain because the Caribbeans that came over really did define like Black British culture. When I was outside playing with friends, it was like a Jamaican influence. But then when I was at home, there was a strong Ghanaian influence. All these experiences were hap happening subconsciously, so I was just really taking everything in. It contributes to a process of my design. Yeah, my parents grew up in, in Ghana. My dad was from a town called Asiakwa, and a lot of the people from his town came to London in the 70s. There was a big emphasis on family culture. So my aunties and uncles would have, you know, were a big, as big as an influence in my life as just as my parents were. They sacrificed a lot in order to give, you know, a new generation opportunity in a new space. I'm at a stage of my life, I've been picking that journey apart. When I was younger, I wasn't looking at clothing, but now when I look at what they were wearing, it's exactly what I build my silhouette around. Those were the times where I think, like my, the happy times of my life as a child, it evokes all those memories. So I'm always reverting back to those, those times and those connections to kind of look and figure out how I'm going to define new pieces. The connection that I have with those uncles now is forming out through my style. Ghanaian culture influences my work through my blood. It's an ancestral thing. See, if you go to different spaces in Ghana, you'd realize that there's a natural ability for people to create something out of nothing. There's a magic, I think, that lives inside Ghanaians, a magic that I think lives inside a lot of West African people. And going back home to Ghana, I think, allows me to see all these traditions, realize who I am. Being self-sufficient has allowed me to kind of become stronger. If you're not hands-on and don't learn different aspects of what you're trying to build, sometimes it doesn't allow you to have a strong hold of where you're going. I feel like as I grow, the brand will obviously grow as well. 
we're already working on our next collection. So the whole idea of a lifestyle, a brand with heritage, is really what we're trying to build. Um, Sao, for me, is definitely about collaboration at the core of it. As much as I'm in the community, kind of being inspired by people and characters, I'm also trying to give back so that people could sustain a life for themselves. Sometimes those dark spaces bring out beautiful things, you know. You're in this dark tunnel at times and you see the light at the end of the tunnel and you're kind of moving towards it. And by the time you get to the end, you realize that the light was in fact just the mirror. And in true reflection, it was always about you.